Hello, everyone. Hello. Uh, today's passage is Genesis chapter 3, verse 15. Let's read it all together. And I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will crush your head, and you will strike his heel. Amen. Today's message is entitled, Partisan of the Child of God. We must always remember as a remnant, who am I, right? And each of the you know, messages up until now, I constantly remind you guys, you are the child of God. Today, may you also remember, I am a child of God. And the important blessing you receive as children of God. Where are fish made to live? This is kind of weird. <laughs> inside of the ocean, inside of the water, right? Where are trees made to grow? Rooted inside of the ground, right? Um, what happens if the fish goes out of the water and onto the ground. Dies, right? How do you know that? How do you know that? Why Why do they die? What about if the tree, it's supposed to be rooted in the ground, but let's say it is uprooted. I don't know how to draw this upside down. <laughs> Let's say it is outside of the ground. What happens to the tree? It will die. Today is an important reason for that. We have to know it is something called a lifeline. When the fish comes out of the water, what happens? It goes like this, right? Oh, and then it wants to go into the water, but it has no way to go back. So it tries hard. The tree, it doesn't, it's not living like, like an organism, so it doesn't move. But the fish wants to go back into the water. So actually, when it comes out of the water, it is still alive, right? Because it's moving. But then how do we know the fish will die? Because this lifeline has been cut off. Fish is made to breathe under the water. They cannot breathe outside of the water. So, as you watch the fish, it goes like this and eventually it stops moving. <laughs> right? Eventually it will die. Same thing for the tree. Once you take it out from the ground, it looks the same. There is the fruit and you can still eat the fruit. But over time, it will die and no longer make more fruit. So it is the reason is because this lifeline has been cut off. What about for children of God? How must we live? It is within Emmanuel with God, right? When God is with us. God made you and me as a spiritual being. How do we breathe and how do we live? What is our life like? It is God himself. So we all know in Genesis 3, Satan, right? He entered into the serpent. He deceived who? Adam and Eve to sin before God and to become separated from God. What happened? Our lifeline has been cut off. So what is the absolute partisan? that we must always remember what is our absolute lifeline. It is through only Jesus Christ that we can go back into the water, that we can go back, be rooted into the ground, and we can become children of God. What are the 
blessings that we receive as children of God, first is salvation. What is salvation? It means you are saved. So if you see a fish outside of water, what are you going to do? You're just going to leave it and watch it die? <laughs> yeah, you have to get the fish, put it back into the water so it can live, right? Maybe for the tree, it's going to be more difficult for you to do something about it. But for the fish, I think all of you can do that. Kick it or put, throw it into the water so it can live, right? This is what God has done for us. We are outside of the water, but by sending Jesus Christ, His one and only Son, to die on the cross and to resurrect for us, He threw us back into the water so we can be with Him again. And so, second, my blessing and answer is, my status has changed. Now, I am not a sinner or somebody out of the water. Now, I am God's child. I am not a child of Satan. I am a child of God. My status has changed. So, you may think to yourself, okay, I believe in Jesus. I believe in Christ. But nothing changed. It looks the same. Remember these two pictures, okay? Once it comes out of the water, it looks the same. It doesn't look dead yet, right? When it goes back into the water, right, it, it is in the same state. It looks the same. It's the same fish. This one too, it is the same tree, right? Now it is the same. Uh, <clears throat> For you as the children of God, outside looks the same, but you are in a completely different life. You are one who is saved, and you are a different, uh, a new creation as a child of God. Because of that, I can now be happy, happy in the way that God made me to be. How can you be happy? when I am and when you are with God. So always remember this. When I am outside of the lifeline, when I am outside of Christ, it looks the same, but over time, you will see the result. The fish, just like the fish dies and the tree eventually dies, that is what will be happening in us spiritually. So that is not good, right? So every day, how do we enjoy this through the worship through <coughs> holding on to god's word through prayer it is enjoying the relationship of emmanuel remembering uh, god is with me i have a problem god is with me it is okay right christ is with me so always remember uh no matter what problem you have right it is okay because you have the absolute partisan of god Jesus Christ inside your heart. Okay? May you confess and enjoy this this week as the children of God. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for allowing us to have salvation in Jesus Christ. Thank you for calling us as children of God. May all of our remnants in their young, in their youth, may they always be confessing Christ in their lives. May they continue to grow spiritually as they give you worship, as they pray, and may they be, be the main figures to really save this age who is outside of the water, who is no longer inside of life. May they be the ones who can save those in the dark as well. We thank you and we pray in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen.